Hi, it's Patrick Hutzel from Intensive Care at Home, where we provide tailor-made solutions for long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies by improving their quality of life and where we also provide tailor-made solutions to hospitals and intensive care units to save money and resources whilst providing quality care. In the last blog I shared antidepressants and long-term ventilation in intensive care. You can check out last week's blog by clicking on the link below this video. In this week's blog I want to look into is looking after long-term ventilated patients with tracheostomies in intensive care best practice. Today I want to dive deeper into what's currently happening for long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies in intensive care as well as when they are in their own homes with specialized services like intensive care at home. Current trends in Australian intensive care units suggest that the only place for somebody medically stable on a ventilator with tracheostomy is to stay in ICU. Medically stable ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies need highly specialized care and there is no question about that. Medically stable ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies and their families also need more tender loving care than any other clientele in intensive care. They need a massive boost to their quality of life and in some instances to their quality of end of life. In any case, long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies in intensive care won't improve their quality of life in a sterile, depressing and inhibiting intensive care environment. The good news is that intensive care at home has created a tailor-made solution and a tailor-made environment for long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies that works and improves their quality of life in their own home. It works because not only are intensive care at home services extremely successful in many European countries but we are also showing to our clients and our stakeholders that we provide a win-win situation for everyone by looking after long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies in their own home. So how do we do it? Well, not only do we have a strong and focused can-do attitude, but we also tailor our services around our third-party accredited quality manual that enables us to provide intensive care at home services. In fact, we are the first service provider in Australia that achieved third-party accreditation to provide intensive care at home services. Furthermore, we also work with the Home Mechanical Ventilation Guidelines that enable long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies to safely leave intensive care units and go home. We have published the Home Mechanical Ventilation Guidelines on our website and you can check it out if you click on the link below this video when you watch this video on our website. Those guidelines have been published in 2010 by the German Society of Respiratory Physicians and we have structured our services around those proven to work guidelines. The guidelines clearly state that an earlier discharge from intensive care is possible when homes are appropriately set up with the right equipment and most importantly with 24-hour critical care trained nursing staff to enable care and treatment for patients on ventilators. Those guidelines are not only improving patients and their families quality of life, they are also saving hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars. Keep in mind that DRGs, which stands for Diagnosis Related Groups, AO6A and AO6B, which are both DRGs for long-term ventilation with tracheostomies in intensive care, 
are the second highest ranking DRGs in terms of cost in Australia. So how much longer does your ICU want to spend $5,000 per bed day for patients that could be at home with the right support structure and services? How much longer do, you, do your long-term ventilated patients with tracheostomies and their families need to wait to improve their quality of life at home? What are your thoughts? Do you think that treating medically stable long-term intensive care patients in ICU is best practice? What about proven alternatives that are already working? Leave your comments on the blog. For more information you can contact me on 041-094-2230 or email me at patrick at intensivecareathome.com.au That's Patrick just with a K. We are also currently hiring enthusiastic and experienced intensive care nurses with critical care certificate for ventilated clients in Melbourne. We would also like to hear from you if you have a minimum of two years pediatric RCU experience as we have opportunities there as well. For more information check out our career section or again you can contact me. And of course you can also contact me if you want to know more about how we can help you, your intensive care unit and your patients and families or of course if you have a loved one in intensive care on a ventilator with tracheostomy you should definitely contact us as well. Thank you for tuning into this week's blog. This is Patrick Hutzel from Intensive Care at Home and I see you again next week in another update.